Welcome to my favourite story of the year. After years in the wilderness, the original Aussie adventurer Russell Coit is heading back to our screen. And our very own Pete Hallier caught up with Russell somewhere deep in the Aussie outback. I'm so jealous. Oh, Pete. Oh, sorry, it was just uh, doing a bit of, bit of hunting. So yeah. I'll just put this, no put this in and uh, there we go. Good to see you. I feel honoured to be yeah, around sure, a sure. campfire of Russell Coit. Yeah, yeah. TV exclusive for the project? Well, not really exclusive. I've had, no. Yeah, no, I've had, had a few other shows, so the all the morning shows and the mid-morning shows and then the mid-afternoon shows. Okay. And, great, uh, to, um, great to be here. Yep, yeah, great to see you too. And TV uh, viewers are uh, looking forward to seeing Russell Coit again. It's been 10 years. Can ten you believe years. that? Yes, yes it is. It's been 10 years. Sorry. Sorry. Uh, you okay? We, we can stop shooting if you... No, just smoke my eyes. Oh, right. sorry. Yeah, right. Ten years, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. I've been pretty busy with the Wildlife Park, Coit's Kingdom. Yeah, it's uh, it's doing well. Uh, the RSPCA has lifted its ban in a couple of weeks. We'll be back on deck and we're very excited because we're going to have Australia's first crocodile petting zoo. Okay, yeah. No, yeah, is absolutely. That, is that... Yeah, it's a hands-on experience. Yeah, but is it? Well, we've had a couple of hands-off. Um, Betsy, <laughs> Betsy ran about four in the afternoon. She gets a bit snippy. Right. And uh, we've had one, two, three, four Europeans who've come in, unfortunately. But they've got a story to tell, you know. Yeah. No one goes home empty-handed. I mean, a we'll, we'll couple of people went, went home one-handed. But, and a little Asian girl from Japan. She only lost a couple of fingers. OK. So that's not a whole hand, is it? That's but, what I said to her. You know, this little piggy went to market and, and this little, these ones stayed home. Yeah. yeah. It's a good story. What about TV work? Have you been doing any other TV work? Is there a game show that I've heard about? A game show, yes. Well said. Uh, yes, it's actually well, a pilot. It's called Outback Ninja. The contestants have to put up a tent, yep. rope a steer, and then inseminate a cow, which is not, <laughs> not inseminate a cow. So fingers crossed that gets up, and fingers crossed if you're inseminating as well. So yeah. this is what it's all about. Good mates, good times, kicking back at the end of a long day. So what can people expect from the new series? Good question, Pete. One of the new elements yeah. is that we're going to go with a campfire cooking element and we're going to have a mystery box and you have to guess what marsupial is in my mystery box. And then, uh, so have you ever had my um, platypus pie? N no, you offered it, but I... Yeah, I've got some was... kookaburra chips in there if you want to have any of those, but uh, yeah. crisps. How do you make the kookaburra chips? Uh, it's a, it's a, um, it's a Japanese style, I think. Uh, and then you just fry them in the pan, but yeah, beautiful. Did I read recently, uh, this is a bit of a bizarre fact, that you have a, a, an animal species named after uh, you? Yeah, bingo. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, it's a little uh, pygmy possum from up in uh, far north Queensland. And uh, the scientists didn't know it existed. Uh, and I am the first Australian to actually back over it. And uh, it's got a Latin name, Coitus extinctus. And uh, if you ever find one, well, you won't because you're extinct now. Yeah. They're yeah. about this big. About, it was about that big after I ran over it, but it's about this big when it's, when it's alive. Yeah, OK. What do you say to some critics yep. who, who, who say, would nature be better off if you tried less? Pete, <sighs> things get in the papers, but they don't know the real story. If I kill something every now and then, it's in the name of progress. Yeah. Now, I hear that you've taken up is it beat poetry or yeah. bush poetry? Bush beat poetry. Wow. Yeah, I love it. Now, I know I'm putting you on the spot. Yeah. But can you do some for us now? Sure. OK. Um, well, only if you help me out with a little, <laughs> bit, of, a little bit of what? rhythm. OK. OK. You can give it a bit of that. So. And uh, I've got the old didge here. OK. okay. So, uh, OK. So just get a bit of a beat, bit of a beat. A yeah, bit, bit slower, bit slower, a bit slower. No, too slow, a bit faster. Yeah, a bit softer. Yeah, that's good. And just nod your head up and down. Okay. There was movement at the station for the word that passed around. Do, 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 do. That the cult had split town. Do, 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 do. Movement at the station for the word. Come on. The, the, the passed word around. Passed, passed that around. the cult, cult. had split. Split. Town. Go, 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 That's just part of it. I can go on for about 20, 25 minutes with that. I love it. Oh, my God. Oh, so good. He's so good. He looks good. like he's just.
just stepped out of an inner city cafe straight into the bush. <laughs> <laughs>